Identify the proximal humeral fracture pattern and begin the repair by passing the blue number 2 fiber link inside out through the infraspinatus tendon at the bone tendon junction. Repeat this process with the white black number 2 tiger link going through the inferior portion. Next, pass the number 2 fiber link inside out through the superior portion of the subscapularis tendon. Repeat this process with the number 2 tiger link through the inferior portion. Once the number 2 link sutures are passed and the lesser and greater tuberosity fragments are dissected free of adhesions, the humeral head fragment is removed from the wound. Prepare the glenoid per the specific glenoid system surgical technique being used. Then prepare and trial the humeral components. Remove the humeral trials and drill two holes in the lateral side of the bicipital groove with a 2.0 mm drill bed. Drill the holes 1 to 2 cm distal to the humeral shaft fracture line. Pass the black blue 1.7 mm fiber tape in an outside in, then inside out fashion. Repeat this with a second 1.7 mm fiber tape. After assembling the suture cup and humeral stem, Pass the white-black 1.7 mm tiger tape through the two distal row eyelets of the suture cup. Then, pass the blue 1.7 mm fiber tape through the proximal two eyelets. Repeat the suture passing for the posterior eyelets. Implant the humeral prosthesis and place the final humeral insert. On the posterior side, take the suture tails from the blue fiber tape and feed them into the blue fiber link looped end. Repeat the previous steps for the tiger tape and tiger link. Then, shuttle the sutures through the greater tuberosity. Reduce the shoulder. On the anterior side, take the suture tails from the blue fiber tape and feed them into the blue fiber link looped end. Repeat the previous steps for the tiger tape and tiger link. Shuttle the suture through the subscapularis. Take one limb of the blue fiber tape from the lesser tuberosity and one limb of the blue fiber tape from the greater tuberosity and tie them together. Note, the strands are free-moving and won't tension when being tied together. Take one limb of the white-black tiger tape from the lesser tuberosity and one limb of the white-black tiger tape from the greater tuberosity and tie them together. Take the remaining blue fiber tape from the lesser tuberosity and the remaining white-black tiger tape from the greater tuberosity and tie them together. These remaining strands allow for the construct to be tensioned when tied. Take the remaining white-black tiger tape from the lesser tuberosity and the remaining blue fiber tape from the greater tuberosity and tie them together. After the suture construct has been tied, pass and tie the vertical tension band sutures. Starting with the anterior hole, pass one limb of the black-blue fiber tape up through the superior aspect of the subscapularis and then through the superior aspect of the infraspinatus. Take one limb of suture from the posterior hole and tie it to the past suture. Repeat the process for the remaining black-blue fiber tape, working posterior to anterior. 